So today we're going to one of my favorite stores in New York and it's called Lee Garçon. I think that's how it's pronounced. Also, if it's noisy, echoey or stuff just in the background, I'm in New York, so we just have to bear with. So today it's around 15 degrees. We're gonna start off with these black, kind of like relaxed straight leg jeans from Bare Knuckles. And to be honest, I think today I'm gonna to go with a full, a full denim look just because I am loving that at the moment. And I don't know, 15 degrees seems like the perfect temperature for denim on denim. For the t-shirt, I'm gonna go with the off-white one from obviously my brand. This is the essential fitting one and I go for a size medium just because I like it to be a little bit more fitted throughout the chest and the arms. Now when I travel, I only bring two uh, fragrances with me. I've got the travel size of Gaia 10 and then I've got the Aesop Marrakesh. Today I'm gonna go with the Gaia 10, but I have to be careful because there's not much left in that. Obviously we have the stock standard jewelry. We have that Tom Wood and then the DS Signet. We are actually in the process of working on another Daniel Simmons one. We've had quite a few samples and it's just kind of like, it's not coming together how I want yet. So rings, rings are an annoying one. For the footwear, I'm gonna go with my brown R Legacy boots. I absolutely love these and they're kind of like just comfortable to walk in all day. And then I'm gonna finish it off with this R Legacy denim jacket. This is quite an old one. I picked it up from Depop for I think it was 120 pounds. It's slightly too big in the sleeves. I need to get it altered, but the rest of the fit is perfect. So what I've done for now is just roll these up there, but ideally I will get that taken up. But I think the wash on this is just sick. Now it is a bit windy today, so I'm gonna go with the Daniel Simmons green cap, which should be coming out soon. It's gonna be my full outfit. Let me see if I can get you a full body. This place where we're staying at, it's really nice, but it's not obviously the biggest being New York. Move everything out of the way so you can see the outfit. <laughs> oh, actually, you can see it very well there. So that is gonna to be today's full fit, and I need to do some work, so I'm gonna take my bag as well to hold my laptop. But yeah, that's the outfit. I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, honey. I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, honey. I got a letter this morning. Gonna see you when the sun goes down. First essential. First, first, first essential is fragrance. Um, I don't leave my apartment without putting on a fragrance. 
Um, I think it is probably one of the most important and beautiful accessories that anybody could have. Mine of choice, Holy Grail, is a DC's by Aesop. It is my absolute go-to. Um, I did a project campaign with them about a year ago on this fragrance actually for the release of it and ever since then honestly it's just been a true go-to. It's beautiful, it's woody, it's elegant, it's chic, but it's also like there's a nice sweetness to it that I really enjoy. Daniel puts this on every time he comes up to my apartment. I want to be Dion. Hey. If you no. smell like Dion, you can be like Dion. If you, can, if you smell like Dion, we just all want to be great in life. You know what I mean? Also, that's a hack. Put your fragrance on the back. Do you ever do that? Put the fragrance on the back of your hands? Nah. I'm telling you, it actually transforms the game. Second essential is a ring. This one is from Margiela. I had this initially sometime last year, but I lost it. So during the sale, I ended up getting it again. Just very simple, clean, classic, can't go wrong. I have a plethora of film cameras, as I'm sure you guys may be able to tell at some point in time, but this one is a Contax T2. This is my go-to 35, just point and shoot camera. I toss it in pretty much any bag. It's really durable. Um, the lens is really beautiful. It gets the job done. I've shot many a campaign on this camera as well. I've had it for probably two years or so now. Fourth essential is gonna be this frame from Aquila. These are the Zeds. Um, I have lost these frames exactly eight times and I have bought them again eight times. They're that good. Uh, <laughs> you, mind you, Daniel knows. <laughs> Daniel knows. I have, I don't know what it is. Like sometimes like I just put them in like po pockets and I find myself to be a pretty responsible person but when it comes to glasses, I don't know what Are you happens. putting them in like, other people's pockets? I think okay. I'm putting them in other people's pockets or they're putting it in their pockets. <laughs> you come to mine? I need to check your pockets uh, before you leave. <laughs> 100%. I think they're so chic. I think they just go with really any fit, they go with any occasion, any event that I ever go to, Fashion Week, Paris, Milan, etc. I'm wearing these frames. Essential number five is a simple black blazer. You literally cannot go wrong with the black blazer. This one is from La Mer. I got this in a video that Daniel was featured in on my channel probably, what, a few months ago? Again, you can't go wrong with the black blazer. This one's a slightly oversized, just a little bit. Exactly kind of what I was looking for. So yeah. Get you a black blazer, y'all. Get you a black blazer. Next essential, we have a standard, stacked, really beautiful, solid trouser. These are from Second Layer. Shop. That's an LA brand, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I got these actually in LA at, um, I think it's called Maxfield. Pretty sure that's the name of the store. Yeah, I got these in LA, I want to say two years ago. And again, I just love the details of these. Come in here and see that. Just the details here oh, on the yeah, waistband, the like waist. also the belt loop, how it crosses over there, little coin pouch. I just think they're, again, really elegant and like a really nice basic. Um, the feel of get, them is amazing. We need to get you some uh, ideas. I know! I'm tired of wearing these, honestly. <laughs> Daniel, I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get my hands on, you know what I'm saying, the brown pleated. I love music. Music, I think, is really transformative. Um, to my mood, to my work, it really influences just me on a daily basis. Um, these are just a simple Air Pro or AirPod Max. I just love a good headphone. Again, music for me is like, it gets me going, you know, it gets me inspired. So yeah, I love these. A journal. I journal pretty much daily. Um, all of my thoughts, all of my insecurities, all of my strengths, all my wins, all of my lessons go in here. Um, it allows me to kind of like reflect on the day, on that moment, on me not feeling my absolute best or me feeling literally like I'm on top of the world. So yeah, journal, get you a journal y'all. Essential number eight is a wallet. Mm, I think that's nine. No, cause 10 is there. Yeah, but that's eight. So that must be nine. If this is 10 down by I one. just said nine. You said eight, huh? No, I didn't. Oh, I can't wait Run to play this. Back. Central number eight. Central number eight. Central number eight. Essential number nine is a wallet. I picked this up in the south of France um, a few, a couple months ago um, with Chanel in Grasse. And yeah, I mean, I just love the compactness of it. I think it's just really, really sick. I don't have actual dollars. I randomly have euros. Um, but yeah, simple, nice pocket. Gets the job done. Sleek, chic. Last essential. When I tell y'all I have gotten my money's worth out of this boot, they owe me money. 
You know what I'm saying? No, I, I wear these so often. They're probably one of the most versatile pieces in my entire wardrobe. It's just a really beautiful boot from Andy Millimeester. They have just served me so well. The structure of them is perfect. The angling is perfect. The arch, the quality of the leather. It's just, I can't, if I, I, I would buy seven pairs of these and just rotate them all, if I'm being completely honest. I love these. Love them so much, I got the derby version of them as well, the, the lower version. Suiting, jeans, hell, it, it literally, Anything goes, anything goes with these. So yeah, absolutely love these. So those are Dion's essentials, but we do have that essential number 11, bro, that, what is it? You know what it is, bro. Oh, for full, mm, come so, on. So listen, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I've been feeling a little different, you know what I'm saying? Daniel been here, so I've been acting up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he inspired me to do the, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just trying something different, I don't know. I'm a kid. since I returned them, so I'm here to try them on again just to make sure I made the right decision or to change my decision. So I'm pretty much glad I came back because I love them. I love them. I thought about it and I'm looking forward to having these in my collection. So.
come to New York for this two weeks is because my girlfriend is now finally moving back to New York from San Diego. So if you've been watching for a while, you'll know that she used to live in New York, then moved to San Diego and now is officially back here, which we are both extremely excited about. And we've just finished moving her into her new apartment, which I'm not gonna do a tour this time because we're still kind of getting set up and we have a lot of her stuff from her previous place that was in storage, but we're wanting to get quite a few new things and make it very homely and stuff. So obviously I'll take you along that journey, but the next time that I come out here, I'll give you just like a little bit of a tour. Uh, and then show you what we're wanting to just like upgrade and change and things like that. But it's quite exciting because it means that I'm gonna be back in New York quite a bit as well, which means more New York diaries. Mm -hmm. 